Okay, everybody. So welcome back. This is Ian from Mindful Marketplace. I created a really uh, short workbook that you can download uh, if you're looking to write a book and you're looking for a really simple, uh, you know, three or four step process for doing it. So uh, you have this uh, worksheet here, title, type, target. And then in this section here, as you're going to see below, uh, we include the transformation. So Let's look really quickly. Again, you have this uh, available to download, this worksheet, and you can see how I did it here, a tiny book about, and again, the title is here, a tiny book about, let's say, mindfulness for moms. Uh, the type of book, it's a mindfulness workbook, and the target is busy moms. So in this section here, you're just going to uh, you know, sort of brainstorm your title, and then you're going to identify the type of book that it is, in this case, a mindfulness workbook, which is a little distinct from a normal uh, book. This is a printed book, target busy moms. It could be overwhelmed dads, busy parents, et cetera. And then in the transformation, uh, this is where you're, you're going to actually identify how your words and your work change the lives of your ideal audience. So how are their lives different? Number two, create a sacred space that a small segment of your ideal audience can immerse themselves in to fully engage with your ideas, your work, your words, and your work. Again, this is my chicken scratch handwriting here. Obviously, this isn't you know what you would be doing. You would be uh, you know filling this out in whatever you know more clean penmanship that you have relative to the mess that I made with mine. And then here. Um, the important parts about this transformation turnstile, which is what we call it in our tiny book about.com brand. It has a clear leader, a clear number, a clear deadline or date, and a clear outline or objective. And again, this is actually what you're offering your ideal audience, your quintessential client, your readers, the folks who are buying your workbook as a or buying your book ostensibly if you're just writing a book which is the you know what you're promising them when they work with you at the end of the book right so this is uh, something that you're actually offering your uh readers to take part in outside of the uh you know the book itself so we recommend as you probably know already that you have what we call a transformation turnstile which is something that at the end of the book, you're inviting your audience to do, to immerse themselves in your expertise, your experience, and your real work in the world. So it should have these things, a clear leader, a clear number, a clear d deadline or date, clear outcome or objective, and a clear way to measure success, right? So, you know, for an example, if I'm offering a book that offers a book a uh, workshop at the end of the book, right? So you're teaching people and you're exciting them with this new approach to writing a book. And you actually want to give them something, give them a way of interacting with your experience at, at the end of the book, which is, you know, a cohort, a course, a workshop, a offer, et cetera, et cetera. And it should have a way to measure, you know, the success that you're offering your readers, in which case, they have a book when they work with you or they don't. That's a very obvious thing that folks can measure to see if they've been successful with your promise and your process or not. If you're working with someone who wants to write a book, their their big goal is to you know publish a book that builds their brand and their business. It's very obvious. It's a binary. Either they've written a book when they're done with your your 30 day, 90 day or whatever it is process, or they haven't. So that's a very clear uh, and measurable, you know, uh, metric that folks can actually use, which people appreciate rather than, you know, some fuzzy kind of nebulous metric that they can't really, you know, kind of tell if they're getting benefit from your process or not. All right. Number six, a clear before and after moment. Again, in my case, let's say offering a book writing service or a book publishing process, they have a before and after moment that's quite obvious. In the beginning, they are not a published author. And then when they're done, your 30-day, 60-day, 90-day process, they are a published author, right? 
everything that happened in their lives before they worked with you. They read your book and they worked with your, uh, you know, process. They were not a published author. Thereafter, after meeting you, engaging with your words, your work, etc. In this case, mine. They are a published author. That's a pretty clear before and after moment. I further uh, articulate this here again in the workbook. You know, before life, before being introduced to your words and your work look like this after life, after reading your words and interacting with your ideas and ex expertise looks like this. All right. So this is, you know, you want to have a before and after moment if you can uh, in your book and that makes, or, you know, again, understanding that you're offering the book, you're offering an experience at the end of the book that you're inviting a small percentage of your audience to actually participate in and uh, that's what differentiates this process from the normal kind of how to write a book uh, process that you'll read everywhere else online. Okie doke. If you're interested in this, it's I call it the four T's, title, type, target, and transformation. And then there's one other piece of this. We're going to cover that in the next workbook, which is uh, what I call the differentiation declaration, which is how your a book or your process is different, how you are different from your competition, how you stand out from your niche neighbors, your professional peers, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Okie doke. If you're interested in uh, writing a book with me and our community, uh, we have a new cohort in May. I'm recording this on the 10th of April, 2023. You can check out a tiny book about, which is the new uh, publishing platform we just launched in April of this uh, year, actually just in the last uh, 14 days or so. Uh, there's a, a blog set up there and we'll have some, uh, you know, a bunch of workbooks and exercises and downloads that you can use to really expedite the process of writing a book that changes the world and changes your life as an inspirational author and enlightened entrepreneur. Teach what you know, do what you love, wake up the world with your work. As always, thank you so much for uh, paying attention, for listening, for your for your um, you know eyes and ears on my content. I do appreciate it. And if you have questions, as always, feel free to ask. Thanks.